Welcome back to CLE Weekend. So there are two fields that maybe you wouldn't necessarily think go together. Entertainment and legal studies, but yet somehow they still work and they blend very well together. It's been proven following the last year's successful inaugural event of All Rise, a festival of film and law. So I want to say welcome to Cheatham Slankard, who is here to talk about this year's festival, the second festival this year. Now, I feel like we should maybe be standing, there should be a judge, but at your event, no. People are sitting down, they're watching. So first of all, thank you for coming on. It's my pleasure to be here, thank you. Let's talk about the second year that you guys are doing this festival. For sure, yeah. All Rise, a festival of film and law, is a unique celebration of film and law through cinematic storytelling. So our objectives were really to bring together two seemingly disparate professional communities and broaden students' horizons both in the film and law field. And at Cleveland State, we're also really committed to being an important part of the cultural fabric of Cleveland. Putting together events like that, that broadens the horizons, that bring guests, that you know entertain people, but also make people think and grow. This is one of the uh, part of our mission, and we're so lucky to be able to you know put this event forth again. Well, yeah, and you think about some of the movies, To Kill a Mockingbird, Aaron Brockovich, you know that you see both of these blended. Why do they work so well together? Well, there's a lot in common between film and law. You know, both fields really look at human behavior, and both fields really have this uh, really strong element of storytelling in involved in them. So when we think about film, of course, it's all about storytelling, right? Cinematic storytelling, structuring the story, telling a story through a character, and essentially, like in, you know, looking at uh, you know the human condition through film. Uh, law is that human condition as it exists. You know, <laughs> storytelling is part of it. You know. All legal stories have a beginning, middle, and end. They have to be convincing. They have to be persuasive. So we have these things in common. So what a great opportunity to bring those two things together and investigate. Yeah, the highlights too. There's quite a few of them for this year's festival. Yes, for sure. So we have five films this year. So we're going for um, five days, five films at 5 p.m. <laughs> it's easy to remember. Right. <laughs> so it's really fun. And uh, one of the things that set our event uh, uh, different or m makes it special is the fact that um, each uh, screening is followed by a live event. And we work very hard to bring esteemed guests to these events. So you don't just sit down and watch a movie, though there's a lot of value in that. But you watch a movie, then you hear from people who were perhaps in the film or part of making the film or legal professionals who are knowledgeable enough to comment on the film. So on Monday, our opening night film is Chop and Steal, which is a documentary about two comedians who pranked morning news shows. <gasps> and their wow. videos went viral and eventually they were sued. Uh, so this film looks at um, their experience um, throughout this lawsuit, their career. It investigates media ethics a little bit. Um, so we're so fortunate to have Nick Pruer and Joe Pickett, the two comedians who are the uh, central characters of this film, joining us on Monday night. So the thing I love, like you're saying, is it's not like traditional, go to a movie and then once the credits roll, you like grab your popcorn and your cups and you run out. You get to kind of hang and really immerse yourself in this culture of, you know, the documentary and then the people who made it and ask questions and have the panel. Now, if we come out, right, and we want to come and take part in both of these types of things, what is something maybe that we wouldn't know? Are these films locally produced? Um, well, one of the films is locally okay. produced. This is our Thursday film, which is called Lovely Jackson. Lovely Jackson is the story of Ricky Jackson, who is um, the longest wrongfully incarcerated and exonerated prisoner in the United States, in the oh. history of the United States. And Ricky Jackson is based in Cleveland, um, for in Northeast Ohio. And the filmmaker is Matt Waldeck, who made this documentary looking at Ricky's story, capturing that on film. Um, so we are so fortunate to have uh, Ricky Jackson and Matt Waldeck, uh, the director of the film and also the central subject of the film, um, joining us on Thursday. So that is sure to be a compelling event. Now tell everyone who's watching who might be interested where we can get more information about coming out and supporting. 
For sure. So we have a website, allrisefilmfest.org. Um, and I should mention that all uh, films and events are free and open to the public. Well, we're looking forward to it. Thank you so much for coming on. Of course, five days, five, five films. Five is the big number where, you know, you see all of that and you can easily remember. Uh, but yeah, we're looking forward to seeing that merge of film and law. Cheatham, thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, you know, it has been over 40 years since we followed the yellow brick road to Playhouse Square, but finally, the Wiz is back and there's no place like home. CLE Weekend's own Jen Pachano sat down with two of the creatives behind it to find out what's new and exciting this time around. Get all the behind the scenes excitement when we come back.